In my ruling, I excluded five PF members of parliament who had participated in the protest, but who were at the time barred from participating in the business of the House. This followed a ruling by the Honorable Madam Speaker, rendered on Tuesday, 7th December 2021, in which all members of parliament whose seats had been nullified by High Court but had appealed to the Constitutional Court were barred from participating in the proceedings of the House until the nullification of their seats was overturned by the Constitutional Court. The following are the members who are excluded from the ruling. Number one, Mr. T.C. Chewe MP, Mr. B.C. Lusambo MP, Mr. M. Kafwaya MP, Mr. J. Malanji MP, and Mr. L. Simumba MP. Honorable members, on Tuesday, 22nd March 2022, the Constitutional Court rendered the judgment in the matter of the Law Association of Zambia versus Attorney General 2021-CCZ-0051. In the judgment, the court held that a member of parliament whose election has, had been nullified by the High Court but had appealed to the Constitutional Court by operation of the law, returned his or her seat pending determination of the appeal by the Constitutional Court. Following this judgment, all members of parliament who had appealed against the nullification of their election returned to the House on Tuesday, 22nd March, 2022. In view of this, and in line with the ruling in which 30 members of Patriotic Front who participated in the protest in the chamber were suspended for 30 days. I now put the question in accordance with section 28, number two of the National Assembly Powers and Privileges Act, which requires the resolution of the House to suspend a member from the House. The question is, that the House suspends the five Patriotic Front members of Parliament that participated in the protest in the Chamber for a period of 30 days from today, Wednesday, 23rd March to Thursday, 21st April, 2022. As many as are of that opinion say aye. 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 All the contrary say no. I think the eyes have it. The question is resolved in the affirmative. Honorable members, before you take the walk of shame, I wish to inform you that in accordance with Section 28, Number 3 of the National Assembly Powers and Privileges Act, during the period of your suspension, you shall not enter the precincts of the assembly, and this extends to the National Assembly Motel. Number two, you shall not participate in any activity of the assembly or any committee that you are signed in in your capacity as member of parliament, and you shall not be paid the salary or allowance that you are entitled to as a member. I now order Mr. T. Chewe, MP, Mr. B. C. Rusambo, MP, Mr. M. Kafaya, MP, and Mr. J. Malanji, MP, and Mr. L. Simumba, MP, to immediately leave the proceedings of the House on the 30 days suspension. Those in the chamber should leave through the main entrance of the chamber. Those attending from committee rooms should immediately leave the committee rooms. Those logged in into the proceedings via Zoom should immediately log out. I further instruct the, the ICT officers 
to ensure that all the five suspended members are logged out of the system. I thank you.